Everyone is unique. And so is everyone's expression of bhakti or devotion. And there are innumerable deities, manifestations of the divine, who accept and respond to the individuals. Let me give you an example, a traditional example of a river. The river flows with innumerable waves. All these waves are the same river, the same water, but they are expressions, if you want, of that water. So all the deities, uh, they are expressions of the one with the many names, the supreme being. In the bhakti tradition, we refer especially to three deities. Krishna, the embodiment of love. Radha, the embodiment of compassion. And Sri Chaitanya, the golden avatar, the embodiment of of divine grace. And when we call upon these deities, they come uh, and respond and reciprocate, sometimes almost as if they were waiting for us to call. Uh, there are four qualities which the tradition mentions um, that are there in the deity, and I've written them down for you. First, the deity is solabhya, or visible. Second, he is shoshilya, or accepting. Then he is svamitva, that is, he instills, or she, confidence. And then vatsalya, these deities give protection. So the message of the deities to us is, Come, come, whoever you are, and uh, you will be accepted. And coming before a deity, something happens, a shift in consciousness is visible. One is becoming full of confidence, inner strength. Uh, and there is a divine protection. I remember one incident in particular where I personally called upon a deity and uh, received a divine protection. I had been already a month in India, a, a month of intense spiritual practice. I got up extremely early, went to bed late and spent the entire day absorbing myself in my spiritual practices. So towards the end, I felt it would be nice to get a little sign uh, that uh, I'm hurt. Uh, and uh, with this thought in uh, the back of my mind, I went to the sacred mountain Govardhan. I still remember the tree under which I sat. Uh, and I was uh, doing my mantra meditation there, and all of a sudden I heard two most disturbing noises. One was uh, the sound of dry leaves. When I looked, a black cobra came at me, and it was hissing. I never forget the hissing of, a co of that cobra who was intent of killing. Uh, the second, what I heard was the loud noise of parrots. And I saw two parrots, or maybe three, everything happened so fast uh, that it's difficult uh, to just remember all the details. But parrots came flying down 
like fighter airplanes onto the attacking cobra and went right to the ice. So the cobra was irritated, irritated enough for me to jump up. Uh, I remember at that moment I was still under shock, but I was jubilant. I felt, yes, I had been hurt. <laughs> yes, the deity whom I had tried to invoke and please, Krishna, had uh, protected me by sending two harmless looking uh, airplanes, I almost said, parrots, uh, who saved me. This is the wonderful thing when you turn to deities. They respond, they reciprocate, and they make their own arrangements also. I wish all of you who watch this little video that you can also enter into a relationship with a deity. And you will see how you will be strengthened by inner confidence in times of need, protected, and always accepted. So, this calls for action. Uh, approach the deities of Bhakti and see their response.